New developments in a story we broke right here on ABC 7. A nightmare in a Silmar neighborhood continues for some as several people are still li living on an illegal RV lot. This in spite of a judge's order to leave. But earlier this afternoon, Air 7 HD was over the lot and saw at least one RV hooked up to a vehicle to be towed out. As you can see, though, the area is still packed with those illegal mobile homes. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero has the latest, including new legal trouble for the property owner. We've seen it with our own eyes, but today Silmar homeowner Cruz Florian Godoy is officially convicted of illegally keeping roughly 20 RVs on her property, a misdemeanor. Some former tenants have accepted help from the city and are in an emergency shelter, but despite a court order to vacate, Godoy and several others still live here. On a human level, what's your message to the folks who have turned down housing or who still live in that silver lot right now? Um, again, we continue to encourage everyone to be compliant with the judge's order. Uh, we are offering resources. We have an emergency shelter available for them. Councilmember Monica Rodriguez spoke with us at an unrelated housing event today. At what point does the order to vacate escalate to an eviction? Again, the court is going to be hearing this case with the uh, property owner on August 3rd. And at the August 3rd hearing actually happened as we were speaking with the council member. It was moved up with Godoy in attendance and pleading no contest. The judge placed Godoy on 12 months of probation. To stay in compliance, she must get rid of the RVs, clean the property up, and comply with building and safety and public health orders, among other things. It prohibits Godoy from dumping waste on the premises. She has 45 days to show significant progress and owes $220 in court fees. If she violates probation, she risks further consequences, but it's unclear if she'll face any more if she complies. Godoy's next court appearance is scheduled for September 7th. It's listed as a progress report. In Silmar, Christian Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.